tap, tap, tap. Hi, Danny. That's it. That's all we get. One night. <laughs> I don't use the big power drill because it's really powerful and scary. So now maybe I'll be able to help screw things in with this one. So here goes nothing. Hi there, we are Danny and David Tippett with Tippy Trips. We got married in August 2017, graduated from Regent University together in May 2018, and now we are ready for our next adventure together. Schooly Life. Life! We will be converting our school bus into a tiny house on wheels and traveling the country full time. We are proving there's more to life than making money and buying things by focusing on what is truly important to us, serving others and trusting God. We want to take you along with us, so subscribe to follow our journey. Hey everybody, so we're back at the bus today and we are going to start working on um, a couple finishing touches on the benches. We have to build the table that's going to go in between um, and we also need to finish some work on the armrest. Um, all of that needs to be done before we can really keep moving on. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, also getting our table finished, um, building that so that we can have a table to work on while we're here. I already said that, but it's fine. That's okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, yeah. All right, so because I did such a great job last time measuring our wood for the benches, I have been nominated <laughs> to measure the wood for our table. That's right, you guys, that's right. So, I want to show you the wood for our table. It's really thick. Do you see this? I don't know if you can really tell, but it's really thick, so it's going to be a nice, stable table. So we have to put the table in between the gap of the two benches so that we can lay it down out into a bed. Um, and then, then it also needs to fit in between the, um, the, ta or the two benches when we want the table up to eat or to sit at. And then we also need it to fit inside one of the benches. So it was kind of crazy measuring this. So the measurements are 27 and a quarter. Um, that's how wide it is. Yeah, 27 and a quarter. Also the measurements kind of um, varied <laughs> throughout the um, the benches like the benches aren't perfectly straight nothing in this bus is perfectly straight so at one point it's 27 and a quarter but at another point it's 27 and a half so we just had to choose the smaller of the two measurements to choose to use <laughs> so that it would fit but it's gonna be fine because we're gonna have two by fours in there anyway which you'll see later what I'm talking about um, but seriously, hot mess. Everything is crooked. Nothing is perfectly straight, but we're gonna be living in a bus. So perfection is not what we're looking for. Okay, then the other measurement is 54 and a half. That's a tiny table. Wow, that is a tiny table. Yeah, because it has to fit between that little walkway, so it really is, it's gonna be tiny. This is how big it is. Holy so 27 and a quarter is just over two feet. So two feet wide and then 54 inches, which don't ask me how long that is, but it's less than my wingspan. <laughs> it's Your gonna be pretty, pretty small. Humans have wings, wingspans. We don't have wings. Yeah, but this is Arm called your, span. it's your wingspan. It's called your wingspan. Span. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is your wingspan. Did you guys know that your wingspan is the same height as you? Uh, probably everybody probably knows that. Did you know that? I did know that. Okay, everybody probably knows that. But it's called your wingspan, not your arm span. Who would say that?
that, we have a table. Now give it some likes. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's a nice table. Okay, I'll just sit down and... Wow, oh, look at our lovely table. Tap, 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 tap. Hi, Danny. I'm typing on my table and doing lots of work. I'm a mouse click, 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 click. Mm -hmm. You're so weird. How far up is it going to be? How tall? Probably right about here, yeah. We probably need to measure how tall that is. Because I want to make sure. Yeah, 28 inches. Is that to the top or the bottom? Bottom. So that's how big the legs need to be. So you guys want to see what David got me for Christmas? We agreed to only fill each other's stockings this year um, because obviously we're spending thousands and thousands of dollars on a bus. So we decided we'll just do small things, um, you know, no big deal. And we had a budget of, I think, like $100, $150 each. <laughs> well, David broke the budget. He got me this beautiful diamond necklace. And the side, I love this side. I don't know if you can see. But it's got, like, all these pretty details. And the diamond itself in there, it, like, it moves. So every time I move, it, like, sparkles. I love it so much. I was super, super shocked. And now I'm gonna wear it like every single day. Hey, I was, just, I was just talking about how great of a husband you are. Why is that? Because you got me diamonds for Christmas. Diamonds? That's it, that's all we get, one leg. <laughs> one leg of the table. Hey, you know, we could keep it like that and spin it around. Spin around. Put a little spin swivel. Up, spin up and spin down. <laughs> for Christmas, my parents got me this girl screwdriver, power screwdriver, rapid fire <laughs> screwdriver thingy, my bob. And it's really cool because like this, the bit can go in and then you can twist it to the right one and then, see, see, isn't that cool? So we're setting up the legs for our table now. This is one semi-completed one before it's attached, but to do this, I'm just using a clamp to hold the leg in place, and I'm taking one of these and making sure it's square across the top, so that way once the leg folds, it folds down correctly, and when the leg is up straight, it sits flush, so it's not wiggling around or bumping around a ton. Also, we do have leg supports that we're gonna be using for this as well, and that will help hold it in this open state. Um, but yeah, and then I just, so I just clamp it, I fix it to make sure it's flush and not wiggling around at all. And then I put the bottom screw in, and then I take the clamp off for the top two screws, so. And it's important as well to make sure the screws are very much in the center of these holes so it doesn't wiggle around when you, um, when you are screwing it in. Also, I'm using Danny's screwdriver because it's here and it actually is pretty nice. I like it. Yo. So we're planning out the legs kind of where they're gonna sit and you'll notice I have them kind of offset on either side just because one, if I put them straight across from each other, they'd hit each other. And if I did it two on the inside and two on the outside, then it could have a little bit of extra wobble. So to counter all of that, I'm just doing them offset um, two or towards this side, two or towards that side. And that should be, I mean like, whatever, I'm not an engineer or a carpenter. Or... Someone's gonna tell me I've done it wrong, but I don't care actually, so I'm happy. This isn't quite 
quite the right bit for the screws that we have, so it skips a lot. All right, so we're just putting on the um, leg supports. So what these are are just little brackets um, that will help hold the legs up and open in the fixed position so they don't like wobble and like have the table fall on their laps because that would suck. Um, anyhow, so the way we do this is we just open it up, follow the instructions on the back. For this particular set, which we bought at Home Depot, which I was really surprised they had this at Home Depot. But, um, we just measure six and seven eighths inches up from the bottom. Six and seven eighths inches. And then we measure three quarters of an inch up from the bottom. And yes, I am starting at the two inch there because the one inch is unreliable. Um, there we go. That's hole number one. I go ahead and I start these out just because it makes me feel comfortable. I don't know. Once I've done that, I go ahead and take our hinge. Then what I do is I go ahead and I set this up. Put the bracket over. Helps when you go the right way. So I don't like to go all the way in from the start just because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room while I'm figuring out the spacing of this. Next, what I do is I try and lie it down all the way. I mark where it sits. So right now it's sitting right about there. And then I try and open it up all the way and see if it can stay there. And for this one, that is pretty bang on. So with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it down again. Make sure it can sit all the way down in that position. So I'd like to sit right on that line there. Again with these, I'm not putting them all the way in, just want to make sure everything's going to work out all right before I go ahead and commit. Even though there's not much I could do if it didn't fit. So anyhow, all right, that locks. And then that, when that sits down, perfect. Now I'm just going to finish all of these off. This one up here, I don't like to over tighten it just because it's going to be, a, it is a part of the hinging mechanism. So it is liable to come loose. Also, I'm not sure why there are three extra screws. That's really screwy. Anyhow, with that, we have a table. Let's set it up. Just put all the legs up, lock them into place. Next, let's just um, can you go on that edge, the far edge. This was not a good way to do this. This was. Put that over. And Jiminy Cricket. Too much. Can you stop wobbling it, please? It is a little wobbly. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> stop wobbling. Um, but what we can do is we can make like a support so that it doesn't wiggle so much. Hi. Right. Boom. We built a table. All right. Let's see if the table fits under here. Oh, 
Also, we will need to put a handle on here eventually. And then it's just slide, 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 slide. Oh, it's just a little bit of a tight fit there. seat and I'm not gonna pull the table out on camera because it needs a handle it really needs a handle on the bottom hey guys thank you so much for watching our videos if you liked it please click the like button below and that just lets us know that we're doing something good and to follow our journey and make sure that you don't miss out on any of our videos, mm -hmm. go ahead and click up here on this button and you will not miss out on anything Thanks again.